Hi hey guys, I'm Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's reading for the, will be for all my fire signs, my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019. So I am just shuffling this set of cards real quick because I was told to and then I'm going to get right into it. So I hope everybody's having a great uh, Thursday afternoon and a great Valentine's Day. If you're single like me, enjoy it anyway. It's just another day. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Universal Energies, what messages do you have for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019 for all my fire signs for my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? What messages? Thank you. Integrity. It says, align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what is right for you. And I really don't know what else that's pertaining to. Am I supposed to take this card? I heard yes. Power Animal. It says, your animal spirit guide is guiding, guiding is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. Copper, please stop. Copper. Hey. Copper. No. Don't do that. So integrity was the first one. It's about aligning your actions with your values. Are you walking what you talk? And then power animal. I'll tell you what some of the animal spirit guides are that are working with us towards the end of the reading. What other messages do you have for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019 for all my um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages? God box. It says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box. This is a as, as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Right now, a lot of people are going through dark nights of the souls. Their heart chakra and upper heart chakra are, are some peoples are connecting and merging together. Um, it's causing a lot of deep inner healing of the heart to, to happen. So a lot of fears are coming up. A lot of things that you and situations that you need to heal with people are coming up. So this might just be something that can help you to get some of these fears, concerns, worries, things that you want to manifest out. Two, two, two. Put it onto a piece of paper. Put it into this God box that you decorate and create. And, and it's sacred just for you. What other messages do you have for February 15th through 21st, 2019 for all of my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? What messages do you have? Thank you. Sacral Chakra. It says you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, or relationships. Just what I was telling you about. So you might want to use this God box to help you to get past some of these things. To help you to see what foods and drinks do I need to let go of? What people? What situations? What fears do I need to let go of? I'm hearing to drink lots of fruits and vegetables. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Juices and fruits and vegetables, period. When you eat meat, thank, thank God and the animal that died during the making of um, processing of that, that food for you. Just stay real grateful, guys. What other messages do you have for all of my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019? What other messages do you have for all my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February? Thank you. Crystals, February 15th through 21st, 2019. So a lot of you are supposed to be working with crystals right now, or I'm hearing some of your crystalline bodies are being activated. So you might want to look up YouTube videos on uh, the activation of the crystalline body so that you are aware if that resonates with you, that's something that you need to look up. Um, but a lot of you are supposed to be working with crystals and you are not, and you need to be. So that's that one. Some of you just need to be switching your crystals out, aren't switching them out enough. Archangel Michael was the next one that came through. It says you're working very closely with a powerful archangel, with this powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. I've been hearing a lot of you are seeing uh, blue right now. That would be this collective of archangel. You might also be seeing the purple and the pink mist or magenta and purple mist that are coming in right now. Those are just activations that are coming in for our DNA to be upgraded to more galactic DNA so that we can become more galactic beings instead of physical beings. 
Are there any more angel therapy cards? Angel messages? Angels, what messages do you have for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019 for all my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? What messages do you have? Am I supposed to take that one? Yes or no? Thank you. That one? Okay. Thank you. So the first one that came up is Ariel. It says, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through steady prayer and meditation. I'm hearing a lot of you, your intuition is now spot on. And it just freaks you out how spot on it is. Things are happening or you're seeing things come up in your mind or hearing them come up in your mind right before it happens or somebody says it. It's okay, guys. Just go with the flow. 543. 543. Look that number up. Ask Archangel Michael um, to help you with these changes that are going on in your life. And Raphael to help you with the healing for all those th these changes that are going on in your life. There's a lot of people going through dark nights of the soul. I just can't express that enough. If you don't know what that is, look that up. It's kind of hard to explain in this little bit of time. Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in loving ways that benefits others as well as yourself. So this, intui this intuition and these new psychic gifts that are coming up or spiritual gifts that are coming up, just be okay with them coming up. You're meant to have these gifts. We all are. Just know that you're not alone, that there are so many people out there that can help you to hone these gifts. But the best way to do this is through your own prayer and meditation. Ask your angels and guides and God, higher self, that higher, that, that, part of you that all-knowing part of of god that god peace that's in you that knows the answers to everything start asking through prayer and meditation six five four if you don't feel like you're protected at all times use black tourmaline black obsidian put a hedge of um energy around you a, a cocoon of energy around you that comes out from your heart space what other messages do you have for all of my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February 15th? Both of those? I heard yes. So the first one is Celeste. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This move will usher in positive new energy. This is for a lot of you. I've been telling you guys a lot of people are stepping, stepping into jobs that are um, spiritually based entrepreneurship with careers and um, practices or whatever I'm trying to say that are spiritually based healing practices with animals and people know that you're always protected know that the needs that you have will be supplied just keep pushing forward and going with the flow Bethany says when you take excellent care of yourself everybody benefits give yourself a relaxing treat today such as a massage sea salt bath or pedicure this is for those people that are going through the dark nights of the souls it's a lonely process you feel very alone you're hurting you're crying a lot you're, a, a lot of anger is coming up just know that there is always angels in the background trying to love and embrace you just allow them to do that you're going to start feeling all kinds of different energies throughout your body and things being taken away and things being put in those are just angels or other other higher aspects of yourself that are working on your dna and changing that so that we can be um more uh spiritual beings that we're supposed to be and have these gifts open back up that we already have they just become dormant because of society and the things that we are taught that is wrong. That it's wrong. Am I supposed to read any more angel messages? Yes or no? Thank you. What other messages do you have for all my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019? Oh, there's a card turned over. Bridget, caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding any further. Okay, I'm hearing this is with several things. The people that are going through the dark night of the soul right now really need to focus on um, learning learning to be guided through self-healing, whether it be through music and meditation, um, being out in nature, something to do. Somebody's working with water and doing time... Um, time jumping 
this is for so many different things. Just be careful with what you're doing. Make sure that you're protected when you're doing it and, and don't have any lower vibrating energies around you from any other people or places that you might be around uh, when you're meditating and stuff and, and doing this healing. For those of you who have a lot of negative people in your home, just try to go other places or have a sacred space that's just for you to go in to be able to do those things like meditate and pray. A space where you can get creative. I was told to, to read the bottom. It says, to help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of situations that are going to come up that's going to need to be healed with other people. And a lot of other people, deep inner healings of the heart. So things that you don't like about people or yourself are going to come up. Things, situations that need to be healed and patterns and relationships that you keep getting into. That's going to keep coming up. To anything that's repetitious is things that need to be looked at. So just pay attention to that. And then the next one is vict victory. Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. I was told to just go ahead and share that, guys. So just know that as long as you're just going with the flow and doing what you're supposed to do to heal yourself, everything's going to be all right. Animal spirit guides, am I supposed to take this one? Yes or no? Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Some of you know that you're in the wrong, in with the wrong group of people and you need to find your soul group or your soul family. You need to start hanging with people that are like-minded and going through the same type of things that you are through dark nights of the soul, through an ascension process, through an awakening process, whatever it may be. Animal Spirit Guides, what other messages do you have for February 15th through 21st, 2019 for, for all of my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? What other messages do you have? You. Octopus. Practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. I'm going to stop and read this one because I was told to. Seems like every time I get it anymore, I'm supposed to read it, but I guess it's because somebody doesn't understand what I say. So let's see. It says, to become adept to shape-shifting, it's necessary to remain flexible and resilient and be willing to practice different identities by altering your way of dressing, your hairstyle, your demeanor, and your mannerisms. Particularly, focus on your body language and voice qualities. Experiment by first making small changes in any of these aspects and watch what happens. You can also become skilled in modifying your aura, which is the energy field around you, by intentionally contact... Con contracting and expanding it. When you practice these things, sometimes even your friends won't recognize you. You can even get... Sorry. <coughs> Where was I? You can even get so good at camouflage that you become invisible to others. Everyone has numerous personas through which they operate and you are no different. It is a matter of being conscious of those personas and modifying them through the art of shape-shifting. Just like actors do, study other people and notice their mannerisms, clothing styles, and how they walk and carry themselves. Observe animals and their behaviors and try to mimic them. Developing this ability can help you to more readily adapt to the various situations you encounter, thus enabling you to deal with them more effectively. Let yourself be an actor in your everyday life and have fun with it. Just remember who you are at the core. So a lot of you are opening up to... Um, uh, experiences that are supernatural in nature uh, things that you would have a hard time explaining to somebody because there's really no way of putting it into words just know you're not alone reach out to me if you feel like you're alone there's so many people there's groups light worker groups that you can get on uh, groups for ascension and um, spiritually gifted people so just know that you are not alone am I supposed to read any more animal cards I heard yes so let's see what else they have Animal spirit guides, what other messages do you have for all my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019? What other messages do you have for all my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February 15th through 21st? Am I supposed to take that one? I didn't think so. It's the elk, just in case anybody wanted to know. It says, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will teach you with, treat you with the respect that you deserve. What other message do you have that want to come out for all my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February 15th 
through 21st, 2019. What other messages do you have? Are there any other messages? I heard yes. Am I supposed to take this top one? All of these? Any of them? I heard no. What other messages do you have for all my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019? Now, come on, guys. I'm not supposed to read all these, am I? Just this one? Okay. The Panda. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. So, like I was telling you guys, make sure all of you that are around people that, you know, you can't really do meditating and stuff around, make a space. Find a place for you to be able to go and do this, whether it's outside or at a, somebody else's home if you have to. Like, find a way, guys. And just see, like, all this transformation of the heart that's happening. Are there any more animal spirit guides? Any more angel messages? Yes or no? Any more? Um, I heard yes on these. So I'm gonna, what other messages do you have for the week of February 15th through 21st, 2019 for all of my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? What messages do you have? My Aries, Leo, thank you. Cancel, clear, and delete. Everybody's got this today. It says, use only positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Pay attention to all the things that are coming in to your third eye. All of these daydreams, night dreams, um, visions that you're getting of things that are getting ready to happen. Just pay attention to those things and trust in the process. They are getting ready to happen. Putting all these things together that we've been talking about, using stones, talking and acting as if things are already happening, being positive, um, doing this deep inner healing of the heart, staying positive in all things that you do, being compassionate with people that, that these, these healings are going to come up with. Anything else that I need to share? Just the, okay. So this week's I am affirmation is I am worthy of health, wealth, happiness, and love. Okay, guys, if you want me to continue to do these weekly element readings, uh, let me know. I just don't know if everybody's really into them or not because I don't get a whole, whole lot of comments off of them, but I do the daily ascension. So let me know down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and follow. Everybody have a great Valentine's Day. I love you. Bye.